Wanna get a government job of 18 lakhs per annum? Write the gate exam. Wanna get into IITs, NITs or any other government colleges with 12,400 rupees stipend? Write the gate exam. Wanna do research in prestigious institutions like BARC and ISRO? Write the gate exam. Even wanna study in abroad, Australia, Germany and even Thailand with stipend? Write the gate exam. In this video, I'm gonna break down all the benefits that you can achieve by just cracking the gate exam. And in the end of the video, you'll be understanding how important is it to even write the gate exam or even to attempt the gate exam, even though you don't have any core concepts behind you. So hop on till the end. And if you are a busy guy, you can skip to the timeline in which you can listen to the exact benefit that you're looking for from the bottom timeline. Before going into all the main benefits, let's see what qualifying in the gate exam really means. So that is our first topic, what qualifying in the gate exam really means or how the market sees. For example, if an individual have qualified in the gate 2024, that means that within 1.5 lakh or 2 lakh people which have appeared if you are taking mechanical paper within 1.5 people who have appeared for a mechanical paper you are inside 10,000 people who have qualified that is an approximate value of people who are qualifying at 10,000 to 11,000 so it means that you are within the 10,000 people who have qualified in that year and what does that mean? 10,000 in 2 lakhs or 1.5 lakhs is about 6% or 5% so that means you are in the top five mechanical engineers who have passed out in 2024 and this benefit when you are in an interview example in my case i am now placed in lnd as a graduate engineer and i'm working in nuclear power plant project in kanyakumari so in my case my interview sucked like i totally sucked the hr i got some technicals and all but i didn't forget to mention my gate score in the interview and i truly believe that's the reason why i was actually selected because it really matters in an interview what are the scores that you have because the actual truth is that in the in a 10 minute interview no interview can actually 100 percent understand you and 100 percent understand your potential if you have to showcase your potential and if you don't know how to express them then having a valid scorecard and having a valid cgp scorecard is very important and if you are having more than 8.5 cgp and a decent scorecard gate score and you can be absolutely placed in any companies most of the companies will be looking at their scorecard and looking at their mark sheet and placing them rather than the skills the interview also really matters if you are really good in the interview but if you somehow messed up the interview then having a decent gate score and having a decent cgpa will always push you forward to the competitors that is because for qualifying the gate exam you must need a minimum technical knowledge and it doesn't mean that you must know every detail of that subject like that and like most of the companies are not go coming to hire scientists right they need employees which with have good engineering skills and that a gate score of qualified gate score can give assurance and they need assurance and this is assurance and next thing is mainly for that triple or mechanical or ec students because most of the people are dreaming for psus or dreaming for jobs which are in core sector right as a mechanical engineer i always dream of a job which is doing core job and I'm working in a reactor building in a nuclear power plant and that is a core job. Like in a core job, what the main thing is that if you're working in India, our client or the people we are working for will be always the government or mainly in any core sector, we'll be working with people with great technical knowledge and people with great technical knowledge will value people with great technical knowledge only. So if you have a gate scorecard, it makes them blindly believe that you have some technical knowledge. And that is very important when you're working in a corporate sector. Because if you want to push your boundaries, if you want to increase your career, you need profile and you need good showcasing results. And that can be skyrocketed with having a gate scorecard because the opportunities that you get, the value that you get, the opinion that you get, everything skyrockets if you have something to showcase. And a gate scorecard is really important. For example, for me, as I'm working in nuclear power plant and our client is NPCL, most of the clients value my work over lots of engineers because just because I'm gate qualified and I'm having 1,300 rank, they just value my word blindly, blindly believing that I know something technical. And uh, I can guarantee that most of the really hardworking engineers with their maximum hard work can, cannot overcome this boundary of this gate score. And that is what you are going to face in the most of the field if you are working in a core sector. So that is very important to have a qualified gate score if you are going to go to the core sector. I hope you understand what it really means to qualify in the gate exam. Now let's see what are the other benefits. Then the second thing is the higher study opportunities. So what are the higher studies opportunities? I think most of the people know it. Like you can do MTech in NITs or IITs or any other government colleges. 
with the gate scorecard. The thing that most people don't know is that it's not only with the basic disciplines like mechanical, triple E, CS and all, you can also uh, get MTEC with the second paper like XC, PI and all. These second papers can be also used for getting the uh, MTEC admissions and also you can get the same stipend. Like if you have taken admission in a college based on the gate scorecard, then you can get 12,400 rupees stipend per month and that is it. It doesn't matter any college, it doesn't matter if you're in IIT, if you're in NND, if you're in any uh, ordinary government college. If you are, if you have taken admission based on the GATE scorecard, then you can get 12,400 rupees stipend. That is it. And people who haven't get any placement, this is a great opportunity if you are good in technical knowledge. You can write the GATE exam, you can do your masters in NIT or IIT and you can get your placement like your dream company will be there. So go for that. And the next benefit is the third one, which is the jobs in PSUs. Right. This is the main dream of most of the engineering students. Mainly triple E mechanical students have dreamed to get into PSUs, public sector undertaking. So what are public sector undertaking? Public sector undertaking are the government, direct government organizations which deal with most of the energy resources, right? The thermal energy, the nuclear energy, the electrical energy, power grid, gas, every energy are controlled by engineers mainly. So these sectors, they need engineers. And they need the top engineers. So if your dream job is a PSU, like job in ONGC or a job in Power Grid of India or any other public sector undertaking, then the only way you can get it is to cracking the gate exam with a score more than 800 or 750, like 1500, 100 rank and all. Most all in the rank 50, 60, not it's an assured rank. And this is the top benefit that you can get by cracking the gate exam for most of the students. And also these jobs have a category like there is Maharatnas with 18 lakhs uh, annum and 16 lakhs annum and all. Then there is Navaratnas and then there is Mini Ratnas. So there are three cadres for it. Maharatnas, Navaratnas and Mini Ratnas. Based on your GATE scorecard, you can apply for any of them. And your qualification for individual like HPCL, Power Grid, every individual organization have individual allotment and their method of selection. And you can apply only based on GATE score. So this is the benefit that you, that is for the main people who have a decent score, like above 1000 rank or uh, more than that rank. Also people having 5000 rank also can apply, qualified people, all the qualified people can apply, but the selection is really tough here. So that is the main benefit. And now let's get into the fourth one, which is the research opportunities. Who don't want to work in ISRO, right? These are the prestigious institutions or prestigious organizations of India. So ISRO, DRDO, BARC and all are also taking people who are qualified in GATE. Right? ISRO, bar all have individual examinations, but the people who are having a gate scorecard can also apply for the ISRO. For example, if ISRO is calling for uh, individuals or candidates or employees and all, they will have conduct an examination and based on that scorecard, they will allot it, right? That is in the time of hearing, not only the ISRO candidates or ISRO candidates can apply for the uh, opportunity, the gate students can also apply and the, the both of the scorecards will be validated for that same job or that same research opportunity. If you're having a score about 800 or 850, you can absolutely get into ISRO or BAP. And the last cutoff are I think 750 uh, and all. So if you are having a decent gate score, research opportunities are plenty for you. Not only in the ISRO bar, you can also do it in IASCs and all. And also the last benefit is to study in abroad. This is for the people who don't want to stay in India. Like if you want to go and do your masters abroad, countries like Singapore, Australia, Germany, Switzerland, New Zealand are waiting for you. If you have a valid gate score. For example, if you take Singapore, in Singapore there are lots of universities and the National University of Singapore, the NUS, will approve their masters like MS, Master in Science, in that university based on the gate scorecard that you can apply for Master in Science in the NUS university with your gate scorecard. They, they accept the gate scorecard. And also coming to Germany, the Technical University of Munich, the TUM University also accept the gate scorecard. And also there are lots of countries and uh, universities that, that you can apply abroad based on the gate scorecard. But in some countries like Germany and all, you will be asked for the language certificate like A1, B1 and all. And in some countries, you will be having a fees and that will be very good fees. If you are in if your countries like UA and all, you will be having fees which you must pay to proceed your MTech. And based on that, you can also study uh, your MTech or an MS in their abroad. So these are the main benefits that you can get by cracking the gate exam. And I hope you like this video. And in this video, I have explained every benefit that you can get by the gate exam. And the main thing is by qualifying the gate exam. Like what it really means for qualifying the gate exam. That is the main point I put forward in this video. So everybody must write the gate exam. Must even minimum try to qualify the gate exam because most of the people who are carrying on engineering, 
want to do a job right so if you are in a job and if you are getting your core job you must minimum qualify to get exam because it will improve your value it will improve your technical knowledge and most probably you will get a job so please write the gate exam and qualify and this is all the best your gate exam for 2025 is done i hope your preparations are going well i hope you like this video and see you in the next video